like to focus on the BP claims process because BP has repeatedly stated to this committee and to the public and the press, we will pay all legitimate claims. And when I missed the tour of the marshes last night because of a flight delay in Dallas, I got in a car and I drove down to Venice in a monsoon. And as I was driving back last night, I saw a sign on the side of the road that I think captures the attitude of most people in the golf course toward BP right now, and it said, damn BP, God bless America. And I think that's how these witnesses who have gone through so much in the past 40 days feel about what's happening to them, their way of life, their families, and that's why this hearing is so important. Because when I was down in Venice, I saw a lot of vessels that were sitting in dock. And when I talked to the folks down there, they told me they hadn't been out in days or weeks, even though they were hired by BP. So one of the things I want to talk to Mr. Duplessis and Mr. Lynn about is this BP claims process. Well, we have heard that they created a claims process for fishermen and for small business owners impacted by the spill. And Mr. DePlessis, you talked a little bit about how that claims process worked, but as I understand it, you are required to present documentation, and if you're a boat captain or a deckhand, you can receive from $5,000 uh, up to $5,000 per check up front. Is, can you tell us a little bit about how that process actually works? Uh, from the start, well, when they started the, the, the program, they, they sent out a list of uh, things that we would need for proof of income for them to, to uh, mitigate this. Uh, they wanted three years of income tax records. They wanted trip tickets, which are tickets that we uh, use on the boats for shrimping and oystering, uh, log books for the oyster people, and I went in with everything they requested. The, uh, the guy almost looked like he didn't want it. He just, he took the three years of income tax records because I had, uh, my wife had already uh, uh, made three, made copies for them to take. I, I almost had, to, I forced them to take it. Here, you want it? I, I've got it. And uh, they issued me the, the following day gave me uh, a check for $5,000 and said that this was not payment in, in, in full. And I might add, when the payment process, when they first started the program, I, I was a, a week or two uh, into the process before I, I, I did mine. Uh, the attorneys, local attorneys and the state's attorneys, read the paperwork that they had the fishermen sign and they were actually signing paperwork that was releasing BP from liability when they signed this paperwork. So, so they, they were requiring you to sign a yes, waiver against exactly, future claims in exactly. order to get this upfront payment. Exactly. And I'll bet you nobody explained that to you when you applied for that first payment. Well, by the time I got there, the state's attorney had was all over BP and made them do away with this paperwork. But it was after some of the oh, yes. recipients oh, had already received payments oh, yes. and signed that well, paper agreeing to waive claims. Yes, but they also made them uh, take those paper and the papers and uh, null and void them. <laughs> so. Now, you indicated in your opening statement you had a thousand questions and no answers. Is there anything about your experience with the BP claims process you'd like the American people to know, Mr. DePlessis? It's a cluster. It's, it's, it's a total mess. Uh, just a, 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 three days ago, there were three adjusters in this building taking claims. Three fishermen would walk out, and each one were told different things from each individual adjuster. One 
fisherman, it's a good friend of mine, told me.